Hey guys, this is David at The Verge, and we're here looking at the new Apple TV interface. Not the new box, but the new look that's also rolling out to old devices now. Uh, it's much more visual than Apple TV used to be. It used to be very text and menu based, and now it's all icons. It looks kind of like iOS, except that these are the only apps you get instead of the whole App Store. Uh, the apps themselves are actually still kind of text based. They haven't changed much from the store to Netflix. They all still look pretty much the same. Um, they have the same cover flow and you can actually subscribe to Netflix using your iTunes account now. So it's really easy to sign up if you haven't before, which is pretty nice. Uh, there's also a new feature where you can download movies that you bought through iTunes. Uh, it's sort of surprising that that wasn't there before, but now if you've bought a movie on iTunes, it shows up in your iTunes match and you can watch it pretty easily that way. Uh, movie, the movie store has been redesigned a little bit. There's this new genius feature that lets you see movies based on movies you've already liked. So Mission Impossible recommends Bond and Bourne movies. Uh, and it's a nice feature. It's basically just like what we've seen from Netflix, where it recommends movies that you might like. Uh, but it's a nice thing to have. And again, you can rent or buy movies through iTunes now and then watch them. Unfortunately, if you have the old hardware, you can still only stream in 720p. If you buy the new box, which is out March 16th for $99, you'll be able to stream in 1080p. And that is the new Apple TV interface.